The world of the FPS games is so vast. There are a tons of different games in this category. And yeah, if you are a newbie game developer like me, probably your first idea when you started your game dev journey was I want to create an FPS game like Valorant or Call of Duty and play with my friends. But at this time, I wasn't able to make this kind of project. But now they are past like six months from my first day as game developer. And yeah, I'm still a noob. But you know what? One day a wise man said, if you can't make an FPS game, make an FPS game. It it's simple. So today I'm going to try to make my own FPS game for the first time. Yeah, ever. For this kind of project, I'm not going to do just a single devlog, but an entire series of short devlogs to show you step by step the process of the game. So you can also tell me additional things to add or tips to make the game better. I already had a dream idea about an FPS game. And to explain you fastly, it's basically a mix of Narwan and Mushy from Bargy. So it's going to be an arena game with a sort of medieval theme ambientate in the 13th and the 14th century. So when the first fire guns were invented and it's going to be a multiplayer browser game with a few selectable guns and the main goal of make many kills as you can in a certain amount of time to claim the rankings. It's so much to say, but no problem. If you didn't understand the idea approximately, you will understand it during the process. So after this little introduction, let's start this adventure in Unity by creating a new 3D URP project. Nice. After loading the project, I open an empty scene and I create a... Try to guess? Try to guess? Yeah, a bean. And then also a little ground. The first and the more important step to make an FPS game is create a first person controller to make the player able to move and look around but to make this you have to know about rotations and quaternions and error angles and yeah stuffs that i don't fucking understand so the only wise decision that i can take at the moment is to use the classic copy and paste method and there is only one place where you can take a good FPS controller and this is Danny Tutorial, the most dead channel on the earth but with one of the videos with the best player controller of all time. Yeah, thank you Danny. So after make the bin even cooler and after placing some random blocks around the prototype scene, it's time to add a gun. And and what a gun. But don't worry, we are in a prototype of our game. So we can also do better later on. Because I decided to store guns variables more cleanly, I made this script that allows me to create scriptable objects for guns. So I can create multiple of those with different values more efficiently. Then I create the universal gun script, which take the scriptable object of the gun and take its variables. For now I insert only three methods. The update to check if we press the inputs, the shoot method and the reload method. And yeah, for now they simply debug something in the console, but we will fix that later. For now let's just focus on the simple mechanics. One of the most popular gameplay mechanics of the FPS games is the pick up and drop ability. In this case, to make a pickup system, we have to use something called physics.raycast to check if we have a gun to pick up in front of our eyes. Instead of writing the code in the player controller made by Danny, I create a separate script, call it player brain, where we are going to add all the thinking functions of the player. So, after coding some stuffs, we can easily pick up and drop guns. Cool. Oh, wait, what, what's the bin doing? I think, I think it's saying something. I think it's saying to smash like and subscribe to the channel, I think. Or he will enter in your ass like a suppository.
what a f now for testing the gun functions i created a cylinder as a sort of enemy target and i give it a script with the function take damage call it by the gun whenever we hit an enemy target so for example this enemy target has 100 health if we hit it five times with the pistol we will kill it because the pistol for now does 20 damage then to try different scriptable objects i create a new gun a pump that later on it will become a, a rifle but that is another story and after that i tried to add the a mechanic in the gun function script but yeah it didn't work at the first time it was like uh, laggy so i searched up some more information about lurping vectors and then i fixed it i just had to change one word what word but whatever, now it looks much smoother and clean. And yeah, I like it. The last things to add before the end of this devlogs are kickback and recoil. So basically when you shoot and the gun goes backward. Like... Let's do some coding and give the different values to the guns. And kaboo! What? I mean... Kaboom! Now it's a Mr. Kickback. Hell yeah. Alright gamers, I think that's enough for today. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the progressions of the game. So yeah, see you next time. Bye.